All right, Carlos, thanks. Well, we are talking Badgers leadership tonight ahead of their Sweet 16 game in L.A. As NBC 15's Amy Flugsopp shows us, it doesn't just come from coaches and players. The leadership on the court from players like Frank Kaminsky and Sam Decker are front and center. But it's what you don't see behind the scenes that keeps this number one seeded team running like a well-oiled machine. Ben Eckberg and Carl Klatt keep a close eye on the Badgers men's basketball team from the sidelines. And we're both, you know, gym rats. But these two are more than just Badger fans. They're an integral part of the behind the scenes work. For the last three years as student managers, they've carried bags, helped unload buses, and even counted players to make sure no one's left behind. We also work practice, stand next to coach, make sure everything is going, running smoothly. These two. Towel up. Part of a 15 member team of managers, 12 guys and three girls who work both on and off the court. In addition to their studies, these guys tell me they'll put in 15 to 20 hours a week in the off season and anywhere from 30 to 35 hours during the thick of the season. A really great gig. Um pays the rent, pays the bills, and also it's probably one of the best jobs on campus. Uh, I wouldn't trade it for the world. Many UW students would love to be this close with the team, making it a competitive market. This past season, there were about 35 applicants, but only five made the cut. Not only do new hires need to have a love for the Badgers, they need to know a bit about the game. I want to make sure that there are some, you know, at least basketball understanding because we do take stats during practices. Um, so you need to know a thing or two about basketball. Both Ben and Carl played basketball growing up, making them a perfect fit. So when their careers on the court came to an end, they knew they couldn't leave the game completely. The dream come true would have been to be playing on the court, but <laughs> the next best thing is, you know, just being with these guys, you know, hanging out in the, with the crew. Well, Rob, these two are going to have some of the best seats in the house as they're sitting on the sidelines right next to our Badgers as they prepare for that Sweet 16 matchup. Probably some better seats than we will, but at least yeah. we can feel it, Amy. It's in the air right now, whether it's because of the teams, the marquee players, or this right out of Hollywood setting. The Sweet 16 is certainly having an effect on everyone. Bo Ryan should be feeling more relaxed after news came out that senior guard Trayvon Jackson has the green light to play tomorrow. While North Carolina's Roy Williams always gives off a relaxed vibe, having been on this stage so many times. But the coach Badger Nation loves to hate says everyone's at least a little tense at this time of year. At this moment, it's a fun time for coaches. There's a lot of stress. You're always asking, all right, have I done everything? Have I looked at everything? Do I need to look at this tape more? Do I need to look at this more? Uh, but at the same time, it's, it's what you coach for. There was another bit of news today. A story in the Boston Herald had the Badgers as the worst among the 16 remaining teams at graduating African-American student athletes. However, the story failed to go into much detail about the six specific cases in question, an odd item considering the widespread lauding of Bo Ryan's program for its focus on academics. I got so many guys playing overseas, and when the six years is up, it's over, but they'll get their degrees. But they're getting a nice paycheck and a great experience overseas with maybe eight credits left, 15 credits. In fact, when I was at the team hotel last night, a couple of players had just finished taking exams. A couple more have them today, and at least one player has to take a test tomorrow morning prior to the game. We'll have much more on the contest between the Badgers and Tar Heels coming up later in sports, including a story of former AAU teammates and friends who now have each other standing between them and a trip to the Elite Eight. At the Staples Center in Los Angeles, Rob Vogel, NBC 15 Sports. Rob, Amy, thanks. Uh, we know, of course, most of us will be watching the Badger game tomorrow night. Win or lose, NBC 15 News is going to air the post-game news conference live. You can watch the news conference on Antenna TV. That's on Channel 15.3 or on Charter Cable 193.